Okay, this is what I have so far. Um, I ended up striping this way and joining in the center. I mean, if I had decided on that, then I wouldn't have had to cut it. But anyway, this is what I've decided to do. Uh, Sherry, if you see this, I hope you like it. Um, so it does have a pocket on each side of the outside. Um, this is going to be the bottom. And it's going to have a 3-inch bottom, which is, means 1.5 on each side, which means I cut these exactly right. <laughs> um, and that makes that just about 8 inches high uh, by the time I sew on the lining and do the, do the stops, top seam. Right now, I think it's about 11 wide, um, but I've got seams, so it should be right about according to dimensions. Um, pockets on the inside. I might do a couple. You didn't mention about that. Um, and I might see if I can do the cinch strap, actually with the leftover of this. So, need to do lining. Um... Might use this plain turquoise for the lining. And we'll go from there. So that's what I've got so far. Okay, progress on the bag. Um, actually, I'm going to be using more of the yellow and the gray for the lining. Um, since I still had some of that left from the fat quarter. And these are going to be like the belt straps. I think I'll just put gray on gray and yellow on yellow. Uh, this will be the cinch cord, which is the same fabric as the bottom. So these, I think, will probably have to be hand sewn and attached to the bag. So I'm going to make uh, little loops for the yellow side and sew those on. And I'll be ready to do the lining. I did notch this out one and a half inches, so I'll have a three inch bottom. And I will probably do something solid like I did for the tote uh, using the stuff I have over there, uh, making a sleeve and doing a solid bottom in it so it's got some substance to it so it doesn't fall apart too much. I did put some of the iron on interfacing on. I'm hoping it's not going to be too stiff to cinch it up. Um, so we'll see how that all works. So that's where I'm at.